Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Pizza Bread. But today we're cooking up a really fun recipe. It's pizza bread and it's super kid friendly. This is a really quick and easy recipe so you can do it any night of the week, but it's especially great for those family nights. When you wanna get the kids involved, let them get their hands dirty, feel like they're a part of the process. Basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a big old loaf of Italian bread, cut it in half. We're gonna make garlic bread first, toasting it inside the wood-fired oven on the Yoder. And then we're gonna flip it over Loaded up with pizza toppings, all the kids' favorites, whatever those may be. We're doing mostly pepperoni today, and then stick it back in that wood-fired oven to get it browned on the top. It's super satisfying to make, it's super tasty. Your kids are gonna love it, and you're gonna love it. First thing we're gonna do is make our garlic butter to make the garlic bread. So I've got one stick of softened, unsalted butter. I'm gonna add to that about a tablespoon of our white mojo seasoning. Um, this has got Parmesan in it, it's got some yeast extract, which really makes the flavor pop. And then of course, just some of those Italian uh, herbs and spices. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna break down some garlic on the microplane and add about one teaspoon of garlic paste. And we'll give that a mix. And here we have our Italian loaf. So we're gonna split this in half horizontally, pretty even on the thickness. One of the things I love about this recipe is not only is it really fun and tasty, but it's super affordable. I mean, this loaf of bread costs two bucks. I've done the, the food costs to figure this thing out. This meal is gonna cost you less than $2 per serving, uh, which is pretty all right. So let's get our garlic butter spread onto the bread. So now that those are ready, we're gonna head over to the grill. But today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. It's running at 450 degrees with hickory pellets and we've got the Yoder wood-fired oven installed. So I've got my Lodge bakeware pan in here that's been preheating. We're just gonna toast these one at a time just until we got a little bit of browning on the surface. All right, it's been about five minutes. Check this out. Perfectly golden brown. Yeah, we broke it. That's all right, we'll glue it back together with cheese. God, it smells amazing. We're gonna use two different types of pepperoni today. The big, flat, thin uh, sandwich pepperonis over here, and then I'm gonna dice up um, some pepperoni as well. So you've got little chunks and then you've got some, a thin layer of pepperoni on the bottom and these little chunks on top. So you're just gonna cut these up into a small dice. Now I'm gonna make this real easy on you tonight when it comes to the pizza sauce. We're just using the stuff out of the can, but this Urban Slicer pizza sauce, really tasty stuff. Um, we're gonna jazz it up just a little bit though and add a tablespoon of pesto to it which I think always gives red sauce a great little extra kick. So now we're gonna build our pizza bread starting with a layer of red sauce. And since we're working in, in batches here, one at a time in the wood-fired oven, I'm gonna build one completely and throw it in, then we'll build the next. We're gonna start off on the bottom layer here with some provolone. Then we've got our sandwich slice pepperonis. We're gonna top that with some low moisture mozzarella. And this is where you can really get the kids involved. Let them build their own pizza, have a good time with it. About four ounces, I'd say, of that low moisture mozz. And then finally, we've got our cubed up pepperoni, and that's ready to go back into the oven. Now the cast iron pan's been hanging out outside of the oven now so that we don't burn the bottom while we're browning the top. Slide this right in here and let it get melty. About eight to 10 minutes in the oven. Oh, that's looking nice. That great browning around the edges on the cheese on top. 
we're ready to swap these out. Now with this last one finishes up, we're gonna put together a little homemade ranch dressing for dipping our pizza bread. We're gonna start with equal parts, mayo and sour cream, half cup of each. You guys can always get all the measurements for everything over on our blog, which is always linked in the video description, so you don't have to pay too close attention. We've got about three tablespoons of cultured buttermilk. We're adding a quarter cup of minced parsley and then a tablespoon each of baby dill and chives. One teaspoon of grated garlic, a squeeze of lemon juice, and some of our salt and pepper Lone Star brisket rub. Now a lot of times, or especially if you're new to this recipe, I'll wait until the very end to add the buttermilk because that kind of det determines the viscosity. If you like it a little bit thicker like this, um, you know, just two tablespoons. If you want it a little bit thinner, add that last teaspoon or so. Go like three or four tablespoons. But that's like my sweet spot right there. I like the way that runs. Not too thick, not too thin. All right, let's cut into it. Oh, wow, listen to that crunch. nice bottoms really nicely toasted can't wait to dig into this all right i whipped up a little bit of caesar salad you guys can go check out our recipe for grilled caesar salad really great uh, my favorite combination is pizza and caesar salad right here caesar salad and anything really a little parm on top get your ranch for dipping i think we're ready to dig in Mm. It's definitely garlic bread. Like the first thing I think is like, oh, I'm eating garlic bread. But then you've got all the pizza toppings on top. It's a really wonderful combination of garlic bread and pizza. And man, I think just everybody can appreciate and love this. Kids don't really have anything to complain about, and neither do I. I love that this bottom is so crusty and crunchy around the edges, but everything on the inside is soft and gooey. Even that bottom layer of bread. Just the right ratio of crunchy to chewy. I'm gonna try it with the ranch. This ranch is so good made from scratch and so easy to make. Oh. All the freshness from the herbs balances out the heaviness of the mayo and sour cream. It's incredibly fresh. You'll never buy a ranch that tastes as good as homemade stuff. There's no reason not to do it. It's super easy. Man, I'm stoked about this meal. A little Caesar salad on the side. The whole family's happy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.